What's up guys, Tim Wilson here from 58 Degree and Tim Wilson UK and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019 and welcome back to round two of the Barstool Sports Open from the Dunes at Lake Marie. The screen I'm on at the moment doesn't actually tell you what I managed to shoot in round number two and that's for good reason if you want to check that video out. Go back and have a look at the video previous to this one and you'll be able to see round number one. We're going to jump straight into round number two. The conditions have changed a little bit since the first round. The fairways are now firm, the greens are firm and also fast. The weather is clear but the wind speed is high so this should make for a very interesting round. Let's jump straight into this. Shouldn't have any problem going straight back into this course because I left it exactly where I finished off on round number one. So let's, uh, let's get this going. Let's have a look at see how high these winds are. 30 mile an hour, not too bad. Nicely in the middle of the fairway. Good starting opening drive to the round all right 183 Ooh, that's a tricky pin position very tricky especially with that wind i think i'd rather be right of the flag than left is that going to get up no, it's not. Oh, no, that's going to be almost impossible from there. I don't think I can get that up and over. This is going to be a difficult one. No. All right, we're going to drop a shot on the first hole. It was just too close to that wood. On that retaining wall. We have got a difficult, difficult opening hole. Right, so this is for bogey on the first hole. I've missed that, so that's going to be a double. On the opening hole of the round, that is not the start that I wanted. Because everything from now on, until I manage to get back to level par, is going to be trying to reduce that deficit. Okay. Right, here's the first of the par five. So hopefully we can get that shot back. Let's go down. We went down the left hand side last time. Let's go down the right hand side this time. Because we do have the wind behind and the fairways are firm, so we should be able to get some good distance. Pushed it a little, but it's okay because the wind has straightened it out. That is a smack bang in the middle of the fairway. And 300 yards. Wind behind, we should be able to reach this green in two. In fact, we should be able to make it with no trouble at all. Right. That should come back round because of the way that that green slopes. Not too much, but we've got an eagle putt. We sink this one and we go back to level par. But it is a tricky one at 38 feet. Half a foot downhill. You know what, that looks pretty straight to me. That 
move more than I thought, and that's not even going to be a gimme birdie coming back. Push that past a good seven feet. Managed to get the birdie and reduce the deficit to one over. Let's go straight through. Right, 3.05. We are not getting there in one. Not like we did in the first round. Well, we nearly got there in the first round. A little bit wayward on the drives on this round so far, so I need to try and iron that out. Let's see if we can get this close. That's okay, we should be able to pick up the birdie from there. Let's have a look, six feet. Fair chunk of movement though. Yeah, okay. Three holes, one double bogey, two birdies. We're back to level par after three. All right, let's see if we can make some headway now. 142, 12 mile an hour wind. Better strike. Yeah, that's going to leave about 15 feet. No change in elevation, a little bit of movement from the left hand side. Okay, we're one under, so two under. To one o sorry, two over to one over to level par to one under. So good recovery, three birdies on the bounce. Nice drive, that should come back into the fairway, even though I pushed it a little to the right. Yeah, it's going to settle in that gully. I've got 117 yards. A lot of wind here though. Pushed it. I'm hoping the wind's going to really swing that round. Not as much as what I like. I did push that ball ever so slightly. Right, 20 feet. A lot of movement. It's got a yellow slope here, so that's really going to swing that ball around to the left. Ooh, that's four on the bounce now. Two under par. Wind's behind. I think if I loft this up, we may be able to carry that. That garden. Oh, by a long way. I need a kick to the left, though. It's just going to trickle into the rough, but that wasn't too bad. Probably shouldn't have de-lofted that. Could have just had enough, I think, if I'd have just left it as it was. Okay, can't grumble with that. That should be another birdie. Just 
got to keep this streak going now. Really, really crooked swing lines at the moment. I need to try and iron that out. There's no chance we're going to get there in two. It's still 324 yards of the flag. Just all about getting this back in play or keeping it in play. That's better. Another 230 down the fairway. It should leave just less than 100, which it has. In fact, it probably works out at about 104. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, wind. Swing it round. Wow, that came up a lot shorter than what I thought. It's going to leave me 20 feet now. Could this be the end of the birdie run? Yeah, it is going to be the end of the birdie run. Disappointing, especially considering it's a par 5. You'd expect to pick up a birdie more often than not. Alright, hole number 8, playing 415 yards. I think this is the one last time where I took the 3 wood in error. Where I should have really taken the driver. A decent drive. Let's see if that, that's going to get a kick to the right. There we go. That's a long way. I don't think I'm going to get there. Not with that wind. barely going to make 200 yards. It's on. It's a green in regulation but it's a hell of a long way away. 61 feet and it's downhill. Luckily enough it really flattens out near the flag so it shouldn't go bailing past the flag too much. Difficult one to judge, so I've got to give it enough to get it there. I think I've given that too much. I'll get in the hole. Oh no, slow down. Wow, it was such a difficult putt to judge. 13 feet coming back. So the birdie streak has dried up, and now I'm going to be struggling to make par. Yeah, get a drop of shot, so that's a bogey, that's a tough hole. Stroke index 6, but when you're playing on the pro clubs and you're not getting the distance that you get with the Masters, it makes that hole really tough. Right, we're back to 2 under. Final hole on the front 9. Really need to be getting a birdie here. Oh, get in. Oh, yes, I will take a hole in one. I will take a hole in one. Thank you very much. Okay, I think we may have to put that up on uh, TGC Tours as well. Uh, 
All right, four under through nine, and that's with a double and a bogey in there. Push that a little. I'm hoping the wind's going to straighten that out. I'm just going to keep it in the short stuff. Yep. All right, that's playing about 139. So, all right, it's going to leave me with a birdie opportunity. It's going to be about 15 feet away, I think. 11, not too bad, but a wicked slope on this one. I was always going to be under the hole. That is run away, probably a good four feet in the other direction. Five feet. Oof, and you just grab that left edge. Right now, I think I'll be glad to get away with a 7-under. I said that last time, and I managed to uh, do a little better. Let's see if we can... Uh... Get that 7-under now. It's three more strokes somewhere. I know the 18th is a par 5. Doesn't mean it's easy, but it means it's easier to get a birdie than it would be on a par 3 or a par 4. It's 919. Oh, I'm going to drop that down again. I think that's going to go a mile. In fact, I think that's going to go See, the thing is, you don't know what that is like there. What's it like going down to the flag? See, that's all downhill. And I've hit a fast, so that's going to be... See that pitch near the flag, that 165 would have been the club. I added loft onto that and it's still gone 210 yards. Wow, one foot uphill. I remember there are some really treacherous greens on this back nine. Go on, turn, turn, turn. Lovely weight to that one. Lovely weight. All right, where are we? I think we're still four under. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we're still four under. Okay, so this is the one where I went in the rough last time. Let's see if I can keep this in the short stuff. Need the wind to do its work here, and then I need the slope to hold it up. That's good. Coming in from the right angle as well. Pulled it a little. Ooh. God, that wind was a lot stronger there than it it looked. That's gone off the green. Hmm. That'll do. I'd rather just take the power and move on. 
as I said in the previous round, chip shots are not my forte, it's where I fall down the most. Running up holes thick and fast now. Alright, we've got a par 5. Let's see if we can uh, do something here. It's a long hole though, 607 yards, and when you've got that wind. I think the wind's going to be slightly behind. I still don't think I'm going to be able to get there. Oh no, it's not behind at all. I've got many, many yards to go. Let's put it up here and attack it from a more lateral angle. There we go. Still got 150 and I'm playing my third. That's 149. Downhill lie. Nice strike. I need this to check out though. Bite. Bite. All right. Could do with this dropping. Oh my goodness me! I really needed a birdie there. Still hovering around that four under mark. Been on this for about three or four holes now. Right, so this is the one, I think, if I come up short here, let's let's loft this up. And let's hope the wind's going to do a bit of a, do me a bit of a favour. There we go, that's what I wanted. Come up short. Yeah. That'll do very nicely. All right, that elusive birdie should be in our grasp. Right, five under. Couple more. Couple more would be nice. Right, one sixty-five. Playing one fifty-eight. Wind is slightly into face though. This is the one with a slope. You do not want to be short here. Has it got the legs? It's going to be short. I must steer to clear of that slope. I don't think I'm too bad on the slope there. It's only a foot. I don't think this is the bad one though. The other one was three feet. There's a lot of movement off the bat. Straightens out a little bit. Just didn't hit it. That was not good. Oh, don't give the birdie back that you just got. Come on, get in there. Ooh. Clutch putt. Right, three holes left. Five under. Let's come at it from this angle. Don't think we're going to get anywhere near the end of that fairway. Oh, 
the only reason I say that is that 13 mile an hour wind and the additional loft should stop that from getting oh only just right, that's 76 it's uphill let's play it as it lies On slow. That's not a gimme. Not a gimme by any means. Yes. Right, six under. Come on, we need one more to hit the target. Seven under was the target. Tough, tough hole. 11 mile an hour headwind, 205 carry with this club. Don't want to be long. Because there's that slope. Oh no, we do not want to be long here. rather be here and chipping up to the flag I think. <laughs> right, 14. Let's put a lot of loft on this. That is a tricky hole. You can see why it's stroke index one. You get that wrong, you're in all sorts of trouble. All right, we're in for the par. Final hole, par five. Stroke index 17, 570. Right, the wind is blowing in the right direction so if we can get this in the fairway and a good 280 290 down the fairway we should that'll do we should be able to run this up Don't get wet, whatever you do. Good. Didn't run into the rough like we did on the previous previous round. Oh, that checked up. I hit a slow 16 feet. Wanted it closer than that. Hit it fairly straight. Got it. Seven under par. Round number two. Alright, let's zap through past this. We don't want to see that. All right, let's leave it on that screen, then it doesn't give anything away from round number one. Guys, thank you very much for watching. That's round number two in the bag for the Bar Stool Sports Open at the Dunes at Lake Marie. If you're watching this on 58 degree and you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so. And if you'd like to hit the notification button, 
that will notify you with it when any new videos get posted up online that's the same for Tim Wilson UK because it's going to be posted on that channel as well and as always if you guys want to leave any comments on either of the two channels they are greatly appreciated and I will reply to every comment until next time guys keep your eyes peeled for round number three that will be coming up on Wednesday and I'll see you on the next round take care bye now